Hi. Okay, so for over a year now, the new blogger dashboard and new blogger interface has been available. And in April 2012, we're at the end of April now, as I'm recording this, at the start of April, the new interface was made default um, for all blogger users. So when you log into blogger, you will log into the new interface. So basically, we have to update some of our videos and some of our stuff. And one of the things we have to update is how to download and upload a blogger template onto your blog. Now on best blogger templates that here here dot net here I had help videos showing how to download and upload a template using the old interface or the old dashboard um, and they of course won't help you too much now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna download a template from bestbloggertemplates.net and we're gonna upload it onto this test blog and as you can see here we're in the new blogger interface so you can follow the steps easily here. So what we'll do is we we'll first find the template. Let's look at some of the feature templates we have here. We'll scroll down we'll use let's use this template here so what we're going to do is we're going to click the download link so when we click this we will get a download link that will open up or a download download page here and all we're going to do is click save file okay so we're going to save the file now i'm on uh, firefox here and on firefox you get this, this downloads window to pop up on internet explorer or on chrome it will come across the bottom of your screen but either way you just click double click on your download and it opens it up into the folder. Now the thing with this folder is that this folder will be a zip file. And some of the templates it'll be an RAR file. Um, but mainly I'd say 99% of our templates will be on zip files. And with a zip file you have to unzip or extract the files. And this is easily done so you've come to this step and basically I'm going to drag up the screen here. Up in the corner we will see extract all files. Now this is on Windows 7. I know on Windows XP the extract all files will be over here in the corner but once you find it just click extract all files and confirm here by clicking extract. That's extracting the files and it's going to open up the folder with the extracted files. These files are extracted and ready to use. Uh, one thing you might take note of here is where you have saved it. So if you go up into the in, into our uh, URL bar here you can see it's in the downloads folder and that'll just make it easier to find later. Okay, so that's the download process done. We've downloaded the template and we've extracted it. So now we're ready to upload it onto our blog. We have that saved now onto our computer in our downloads folder. I'll say, okay, so we're going to upload it onto this test blog. So let's go to, back to the blogger dashboard. A couple of test blogs here and we're using this one. So what we do first is we click the drop down menu and we scroll down to where we see template and we click on the template link. When we do that, we come through to this page, which shows a live on the blog and a mobile um, screenshots of your blog. And we don't want to click customize or edit HTML, as you might think. But in the top corner, we just drag over our screen once again. We can see backup and restore. Maybe that should say backup, restore, and upload, because that is where we go to upload our template. So let's click that. Drag our center our camera up again. And when we open this up, we will see upload a template from a file on your hard drive. So we're going to click browse and we'll drag this down. Now we know that we save this into our downloads folder. So let's click on our downloads folder. And here we can see the zipped version and the unzipped version. And we obviously want the unzipped or extracted version. So let's click on that. Now <coughs> on this in this folder we have a number of, of different a number of different things. We have the images, the JavaScript, and so on. And um, what we want here is the XML file because all templates are in XML, XML format. So if you come down the bottom here, and if we hover over it, you'll see type is XML document. And you can tell by that little uh, thumbnail there, that's an XML. So you can see these are text documents, and this is an image, and these are separate folders. But the one down the bottom, you can see that little thumbnail that tells us this is the XML document. And over here at the side, we see XML document making it even easier. Okay, so what we want to do is double click on our XML document. Okay, so that's gone in there now and simply click upload. Okay, so this will take a couple of seconds. Now, once we upload a template, you can see here uploaded successfully and we can see our, our live on blog shot has changed. But let's go back to our test blog and refresh the page, give it an F5 and there you can see our new template has been uploaded just like that now 
Um, one of the differences I found here is before when you did upload a template, it would give you the option to keep or delete some of the widgets and so on. That option isn't here now. I'm sure they're still working, the blogger team is still working on this, and changes may happen in the future. But basically, you're going to have to kind of clean up your template by going to your layout and removing some of the stuff you don't want or some of the stuff you do want. But there's the basics of how to download a template and upload it onto your blog, and you get the result just like this. Okay, thanks for watching.